Well, it's a pretty easy screening test to do, the blood spot test. So it's one tube of blood if you want to screen for Pompe disease. One tube of blood, send it to the lab. They do an enzyme test on it, and they can tell you, are you in the, the area of being affected, a carrier, or not affected? So with one test, you can kind of rule in or rule out the chance of Pompe disease. Um, polymyositis, any limb girdle type muscular dystrophy without a specific diagnosis. Um, I think one of the things that I know a lot of neurologists think about is, is there a treatment for the disease? And there's not many actual treatments for muscular dystrophy or limb girdle muscular dystrophy type diseases, but there is for Pompeii. So if you have a patient that has this picture of, you know, a waddling gait or trouble lifting from a chair, you know, both proximal and maybe some distal weakness. You know, they've got increased um, CK level. You know, you can always run a urine HEX4, which is a biomarker that we see often increased in patients with Pompeii disease. I think, I think it has to become more of the, the typical um, diagnostic plan for the neurologist to say, okay, what diseases do we have that we can provide a treatment that would change the lives of these patients. Oh, Pompe disease, it's one blood test, let's do it and check it off. Um, the other hallmark of Pompe disease that's a little bit different from some other limb girdle muscular dystrophies is the um, trouble breathing when laying flat. So it's a, it's a condition where your diaphragm is weak in Pompe disease, so when you're sitting up, you have the help of gravity to pull your diaphragm down when you breathe in. But when you lay flat, gravity doesn't help your diaphragm move, so it's harder for you to get a good breath and to breathe when laying flat. So people will say, you know, I have trouble breathing when I'm laying flat, or I wake up with morning headaches, um, I'm really sleepy during the day, I sleep a lot, I need to take naps. Um, their CO2, their carbon di dioxide retention might be higher on um, a comprehensive metabolic panel. So I, I think it's probably just awareness for the, the neurologist to kind of know these different pieces that could come together to give a picture of Pompeii. And then by doing this enzyme test on blood, which is pretty quick and easy, you can rule it in or rule it out.